The first beta of iOS 19 is just around the corner. We're now less than three weeks away from the release of the first beta of iOS 19. Now I know a lot of users will want to update their devices to the new iOS 19, but in the meantime, until then, we will also have new releases of iOS 18 betas. That's why it is really important for you to know how to actually prepare your device right now so that you actually update to iOS 19 on the first day when it actually gets released to the devs. Of course, a lot of people will want to do that because it will be a big update, the biggest since iOS 17, and a lot of users don't want to wait until September to try out this beta. Of course, once it gets to the public, but they will want to install the first beta. And here's how you do it. Now, the first thing you need to know is the release date and time of iOS 19 beta 1. As you probably know, this will happen at WWDC 2025. It is on June 9th, right here, the keynote, Monday, June 9th, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time. That means that around 11.30, probably 11.40 a.m. Pacific time, it will be the time when Apple releases the first beta of iOS 19. Usually, that's what they do. After the keynote is over, usually takes them 10 to 15 minutes to actually release the first beta, which this year again will be really exciting. Now, before you try to update, of course, you need to know whether your device is supported or not. And this is the support list right here from the latest, which is, of course, the iPhone 16 E. And it goes down to the iPhone SE 2 and SE 3 and, of course, the iPhone 11 series. I'm really, really excited that Apple has actually done this and they kept the iPhone 11 series on this list. So a lot of users have those and, of course, the SE models, the 2 and the 3, and they will be able to actually install iOS 19 with, of course, most likely a lot of features missing that will be part of the newer devices. But again, they're still getting the new design and all that on iOS 19. Now, currently, when compared to iOS 18, the only devices that will be dropped are the iPhone XS and the XS Max. Those are being dropped, so if you have one of those devices, unfortunately, you won't be able to install iOS 19. So here are a few things that I suggest you do right now before trying to install iOS 19 and of course that will actually help you once you're ready to install iOS 19 on your device. Now the first thing I would suggest is that if you have just one device that your main device is used daily, don't rush to install iOS 19. Even though the latest leaks are claiming that Apple has focused their work on iOS 19 actually being less glitchy and being way better than the previous iOS versions. It's still a beta and it's still a big update. Probably it will have a lot of issues. So think twice before installing the first beta. And if you decide to do that, then this is what you do. Head on to your settings and currently we're on iOS 18.5. Most likely 18.5.1 will come in the next few days or maybe weeks. If you install that, then it's okay, there's no problem, but what I suggest you do is that you don't install the iOS 18.6 beta. That should come out also very soon, maybe the next week, we will have the first beta of iOS 18.6. So I suggest you don't install the beta. You stay on an official release like iOS 18.5 or 18.5.1 if it gets out before iOS 19. So to do that, make sure that you go to the beta updates and just completely turn them off right here. Once you have done that, then you're good to go. You will have to wait for the first beta of iOS 19 to be released. Once that's released, then you will see right here, you will have the iOS 18 beta, but it will also show you a beta for iOS 19. That's when you go ahead and just select iOS 19 and you will get the update right here and of course install it from there. Now to install iOS 19 on your device, the first day of course there are a couple of things you need to know and you need to have. First of all, most importantly, you need to have enough free storage. This will be a big update and it will of course reinstall iOS from scratch on your device, meaning that it will most likely require like 15 or 16 gigs of free storage on your device. That's always, of course, different on different devices, but it does require quite a lot of space. So here's what you do. Head on to your settings, 
go under the general settings iphone storage and you will have here everything that is taking up storage on your iphone now if you have basically the chance to actually delete maybe some photos or videos from your device you can do that or maybe any of these apps like are taking a ton of space on your iphone like you can see facebook right here is taking eight and a half gigs on my device and it's actually only 300 megabytes 350 now what that means is that all these are like files that have piled up right here and are taking a ton of storage now if you just delete this like a day maybe before ios 19 you can delete this app and reinstall it on your device it will still go up to this but it will take months to do that so in the meantime you will have enough free storage to install ios 19 on your device another thing make sure that you have enough battery if you just want to install it right away once it's out make sure your device is charged over 50 percent that way you can just simply go ahead and update right away to the new ios 19 again a lot of people will be real excited about this update and will want to install it immediately because it looks like it will be huge and change the way you have used your iphone for the last few years now of course the biggest question here will be should you install it or not again this will be an amazing update and if everything that they're claiming will turn out to be true and this will be the biggest update to ios since ios 7 then i know a lot of people will want to install this nothing like the previous betas where you had a few people just trying the beta this time around will be different and there will be millions of people trying to install ios 19 beta 1 on their device but again if you have just one device i just suggest that you wait at least for a few days and see how this goes if it basically anything that you can work with should you install it or not based on the experience of other people just check out youtube check out reddit see how people are reporting things whether it's stable enough to use on a daily device or not even though i highly doubt that because it will be a complete makeover of ios with a ton of features that of course will require quite a lot of work for that ios version to be stable enough to actually use it on a daily device now, if you just don't want to do that, you can actually wait for the public beta. That's the time that also Apple thinks it's good enough for the public to try it, even though you can now try the dev beta even for the public. But of course, that will happen sometime here. Most likely the 14th or the 21st of July should be the time that Apple releases the first public beta of iOS 19. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people will just install the dev beta and won't actually be able to wait until the public beta so that is it thank you guys for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful if you did smash that like button and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one